Hey, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to export our database in SQL format from our PHP MyAdmin. Now, I've already shown you how you can pick up uh, your database automatically by sending to your email in my last video, but Picking it up or exporting it manually sometimes is uh, important because uh, you know that you pick it up yourself and you know that it works. So let's get started. So first, you're going to your website which you want to pick up the database. So this is it, the site that I want to pick the database up. And then going to hit um, to type slash and then cPanel to log to log into your cPanel. And it will redirect you to the cPanel. I'm going to type in my username there. So once you are in cPanel, scroll down until you find Files and File Manager. Click on that. And then here, choose on Document Root for your domain. And then hit Go. Then we are going to find wp-config.php. Select that file and click Edit or View. Let's go on View. Here it will show you the configuration when you install WordPress for the first time. And what the most important part is that the database name to know your database name. So in my case, my blog has this database name. So uh, go, go back to our cPanel home again and then scroll down and then we look on databases and then PHP my admin. Click on that. So as you can see, I have now two databases, and if you have just one database, you will uh, see something like this when you click on this page. So you will see something like this, and then the rest it will be the same step. Then, uh, because we just take a look at our wp-config.php, that our database name is this, so we know that this database is ours. So just click on that database tables. And let me close this thing first. And once you uh, have your database table selected, make sure that the database name is correct and there also. And then you're going to click on check all button here. And then either you can go to export button on the top or with selected and then click on export. And then you will see this page. And you can uh, export with two methods actually, but I always do with quick method and it's always work. So leave everything here by default if you choose on quick and then make sure that the format is SQL because you can actually choose uh, any format here, but we choose on SQL format and then hit go. So when it's downloaded to your computer, uh, it depends on where you save your uh, database. Mine is save in desktop as you can see and then uh, once you have your SQL database to have the best practice you create a new folder and name it to your website so for, for example I use wphowtosite.com then I will create this folder and then inside this folder I'm going to create new folder again and name it as database and then move this SQL a file to this database folder. Now move then somewhere to your documents or somewhere safe where you uh, next time know what kind of backup that you have in uh, this folder which is in this website. So that's it guys. It's very quick and easy that you can export manually uh, your SQL file from your PHP MyAdmin. So thank you so much for watching and take care of yourself. Goodbye!